Hey everyone, my name is Abhishek and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we are going to create this glowy flickering text animation in After Effects. So before I begin, if you guys are new here, then please consider subscribing and make sure to press that bell icon so that you never miss another amazing video like this. Also make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. So with that being said, let's jump into After Effects and get started. Alright, so right now I'm in After Effects and we will begin by creating a new composition. So go to composition, new comp and let's call this main. Width and height will be 1920 by 1080, frame rate 30 fps and duration you can go with 15 seconds. Just click on OK. Now I'm going to add my text. So let's select the text tool and you can click and type whatever you want. So I'm going to type glow and you can pick whatever font you want. I'm using this Gibson bold font and let me just quickly align this in the center of this composition and in case you are not able to see this align panel you can go to windows and from here you can enable it now we have our text and we are going to give it a nice stroke so in order to do that just select your text and make sure that you are on the fill layer then you can click on this icon so that it will remove all the fill and after that you can click on the second color and from here you can pick the color of the stroke so you can choose whatever you want and from this parameter you can change the stroke radius so let's go with 4 or maybe 5 I think this looks good so now we have our text and again I'm going to apply some animation to it so that it will look like our text is flickering so let's do that by going under text and from here you can click on this animate option and we are going to choose the property so you will see we have this opacity option here and I'm going to set this to 0 now to add the flickering effect we are going to go under the range selector and from here we are going to add a small expression to the offset value. So in order to do that you can hold down the alt key or option key if you are on mac then click on this stopwatch and after that you can type this expression wiggle and in the circular braces you can type 25,50. Now you can click anywhere and now if I play back here you can see that now we have our flickering and now let's close up all of these settings now if you want you can again press u and you can change the wiggle amount or frequency however you want so it totally depends on you you can play around with these two parameters and it will give you different results but for this one we're going to stick with 25 50 and now we have our animation so at the end we want our text to reveal so in order to do that let's go around somewhere here and i can select the layer then you can hold down the control shift d it will split the layer so now i'm going to select the top layer and i'm going to move it a couple of frames forward just like this now i want this text to appear over here so in order to do that i'm going to select the layer then press u twice and i'm going to remove the expression so just simply click and delete it and also i'm going to delete the animator as well just like this so now we have our text and again i'm going to select the text and I'm going to remove the stroke and I'm going to enable the fill. So now we have our text. Now at the end we want our text to reveal. So in order to do that I'm going to do a simple opacity animation. But I want this to be appearing as a flickering text. So I'm going to add a keyframe in the beginning. And I'm going to lower down its opacity to 0. Then I'm going to zoom in and move one frame ahead. Then I'm going to set this back to 100. And again one frame ahead and I'm going to set this to 0. Now we have some this kind of animation and I want this to keep on repeating. I'm going to copy these last two keyframes and then just keep on pasting them just like this. You can also have few gaps here and there. So at the end we want our text to be revealed so I'm going to make the last keyframe 100%. So if I play back here you can see that the text is flickering and at the end it reveals. Now if you don't want this much of flickering then you can simply delete some of the keyframes and let's delete these one just simply delete them and you can move the other keyframes closer and you can also offset the layer so now you can see we have created this sort of animation so it is looking good now we are done with the animation part so let's add some glow to this so before that let's select both the layers then you can right click click on pre-compose and after that you can type text just click on ok now go under the effects and preset and search for glow and just select the glow and you can apply it onto this layer 
so first i'm going to give it a really subtle glow so let's lower down its intensity to something like this again select your glow layer then you can press ctrl d to duplicate it for this one i'm going to increase the glow radius just like this so now we have our glowy text now let's add some animation to this but before that let's add some shadow on the ground floor so in order to do that you can select the layer then press ctrl d to duplicate it after that you can click over here to make the layer 3d and once the layer has become 3d you can press r on the keyboard and you can play around with its rotation so let's give it a really nice rotation of something like this and after that you can click on the z axis and just move it down something like this now it's completely up to you where you want your text to be so i'm going to place it somewhere around here and also i'm going to make it a little bit lower just like this now we have our ground shadow but in order to make it more natural we are going to apply another effect let's apply gaussian blur so you can search for gaussian blur and just drag it onto this layer so after that i'm going to increase the blur amount quite a bit so just increase it something like this so now you can see we have this really nice glow at the bottom now its intensity is too much so i'm going to select this press t on the keyboard and just lower down its opacity something like this now we are pretty much done with this now let's add some final animation to this so for that i'm going to add a null so go to layer new and just click on null object and i'm going to select both of these layers then just parent it to this null object and i'm going to select a point so let's go somewhere around here then maybe over here then i'm going to select this and press s on the keyboard to add a scale keyframe and hold down the shift you can press r to add a rotation as well now in the beginning i want this to be really scaled up something like this and i also want this to be at an angle so now let's select our keyframes press f9 to easy ease them then you can go in the graph and you can change the curve to look something like this and if your graph editor looks different then make sure you are in the edit speed graph so now if i play back here you can see we have this kind of text reveal which is looking nice so you can use it for whatever you want you can also use your logo if you want so all you have to do is just drag your logo into this composition and it will have all the animations but on the logo if you want to add the flickering you will have to do this opacity animation using the keyframes just like we did with this text so this is how you can create glowy text reveal animation if you want you can change the color all you have to do is just go inside the composition and from here you can change its color so it's completely up to you however you want to animate it and you can also edit the text so just double click and you can type whatever text you want just make sure to update the text on both the layers and now if i go back and play it so now you can see we have updated our text so this is how you can create this type of animations so i hope you learned something from this video and the project files for this tutorial are available on patreon so if you are supporting me over there you can download it from there and if you are not then you might consider it because you will get access to the all project files plus exclusive templates that are available only on patreon also if you want to learn more things like this then make sure to subscribe to my channel and don't forget to press that bell icon so with that being said my name is abhishek and i'll see you in the next one